Game Ranks presents 10 obscene yet really hilarious Grand Theft Auto 5 surprises and Easter eggs that you maybe might have missed. You know, sometimes we gotta tone down the seriousness and just talk about poop and butts and vaginas and penises. So let's get started with number 10. This is a perfect example of Rockstar Games' attention to detail. Up in the Vinewood Hills, somewhere near Franklin's house, you can find a pool with some garden gnomes. And one of them is showing his ass. I guess that was a deleted scene from Gnomeo and Juliet. <laughs> Number 9. Your cell phone in Grand Theft Auto is a lot like your phone in real life. You can use it to call hookers. Yes, there are hundreds of phone numbers in Grand Theft Auto V to dial all different characters, including hookers that can come over and have sex with you. Isn't that cool? Number 8. Out by the beach boardwalk, there's a store called Cream Pies. I don't really have a joke for that, that's just gross. Number 7. To the far west side of the Vinewood Hills, you can actually find a replica of the Playboy Mansion. Yes, this in-game representation isn't official, but it features all the things that the Playboy Mansion is famous for. Lavish decorations, a cool pool and a grotto, and naked girls everywhere. And sometimes if you go at night, there's even parties going on. There is just so much to see and do in this game, including boobs. Number 6. Out in the desert, northeast of Sandy Shores Airport, there's that weird hippie shrine with a bunch of alien graffiti on it. Climb up to the top and look closer and you'll realize there's a mural of a bunch of aliens doing each other. It's pretty weird that these hippies worshipping and believing in aliens wanted to paint pictures of them boning each other, but hey, this is the world of Grand Theft Auto. Number 5. Princess Robot Bubblegum. There was a weird Japanese hentai porn show in Grand Theft Auto 4 on the TV that is very much alive and well in Grand Theft Auto 5 on the internet. Aside from seeing billboards for Princess Robot Bubblegum in comic book shops, you can also find a computer in the game and log on to princessrobotbubblegum.com and read all about your favorite weird Japanese anime porno character. There's a surprising amount of detail put into this website. It's actually kind of scary. It's okay, it happens to a lot of guys. Number 4. There's a very rare female NPC walking around sometimes, and she walks around with her butt and underwear hanging out. It's kind of gross. The best part, on her t-shirt, it says Inspector Knickers. Knickers, for those of you who don't know, is a European phrase for underwear. Not only that, but Inspector Knickers is actually an obscure clothing store in the game. Apparently, that's where Trevor buys his dresses when you randomly find him cross-dressing. Number three. A hidden Mickey is when you find three circles that happen to form the shape of Mickey Mouse's head somewhere in the world. In the world of Grand Theft Auto, there's hidden dicks. Yes, there's one in Vinewood with a tire shop forming two balls. If you position your character in the camera right, there's a tower behind it, and surprise, it makes it look like a wiener. Number two. Life Invader is Grand Theft Auto V's version of Facebook and Apple. There's a commercial in the game that advertises a tablet that you could kind of like put on your dick or something, and it... <laughs> It references people docking their penises together, and it's it's really funny. I don't I can't even... What am I doing? Number one. Playing GTA V single player as Michael is full of awkward moments. But no moment is more awkward than the random time you can walk in on your wife playing with herself. Yes, you startle her and she gets mad and yells at Michael and throws a dildo on the ground. And it's really embarrassing and awkward for all of us. I'm sure everyone's experienced this moment walking in on someone, right? Right? Anybody? So those were 10 dirty, kind of weird, funny, obscene easter eggs in Grand Theft Auto V. I don't even know what to do with myself anymore, I don't have any brain cells left. But what you guys can do if you had a good time is like this video, because it really helps us out. If you're new, subscribing is even better, because we do videos like this, and we do some giveaways. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.